Shabbat Shalom, everyone, and welcome to today's scripture with the Yabaji. And today's scripture comes from Hosea chapter 4, verses 1 and 6, and it reads as follows. Hear the word of Yahuwah, ye children of Yasharel, for Yahuwah has a controversy with the inhabitants of the land, because there is no truth, nor mercy, nor knowledge of Elohim in the land. My people are destroyed for lack of the knowledge. Because you have rejected the knowledge, I will also reject you, that you shall be no priest to me, seeing you have forgotten the Torah of your Elohim. I will also forget your children. Yahuwah is still speaking to his children. Here in this passage of scripture, it starts out in verse 1 and it says, Hear the word of Yahuwah, ye children of Yasharel. First and foremost, <laughs> we've got to have our spiritual ear open to hear what Yahuwah is saying. First and foremost, remember everyone that listening is wanting to hear. Okay, so if you want to know what the Most High Yah wants you to do or wants us to do as his people, hear the word of Yahuwah. For Yahuwah has a controversy with the inhabitants of the land. In other words, he has a bone to pick with his people. Because there is no truth, nor mercy, nor knowledge of Elohim in the land. That is the same thing that is going on right now. You will be hard pressed to get someone to just tell you the truth. You will also be hard pressed to find people who want to hear the truth. People will rather hear a soft lie than the hard truth. And people have itching ears that they want tickled. They want to hear what makes their flesh feel good. But that's not what's going to help us in these last days. We need to know the truth that comes from Yahuwah because he already knows what the future is going to hold for his people in detail. So we don't have time to be taking in a whole bunch of lies and half-truths and deceptions. We've got to take in the truth that comes from Yahuwah. And he's upset because he's saying there's no truth in the land. There's no mercy in the land. And last but not least, there's no knowledge of Elohim in the land amongst my people. This is what Yahuwah is saying. And it's the same thing that's going on right now. You look around. You can't find people who really and truly have a relationship with the Most High Yah in this day of time. It, it, you know, you got people that say, oh, I believe in God. I believe in a higher power. But they really don't have a clue who Elohim truly is for themselves. All, all they really have is a regurgitated version, a programmed version of who they've been told that Elohim is. These people are saying what they've been told from family members, from friends, from co-workers, and most of all, from the media. So we know 
that many people are walking around with a warped, twisted perception of who Elohim, who Yahuwah, really and truly is. And that's a problem. That is a problem. So most people have no knowledge of Elohim. They could care less about having a relationship with him. And they really don't want to know who the truth is. And they don't have any mercy for anybody. Okay? That's what's going on in this day and time. The majority of the people, even people who say that they are children of the Most High Yah, they say they are part of the kingdom. They are part of the kingdom of Yah. They are part of the family of Yah. Have this mindset or living this way. But in verse 6, it says, my people. He didn't say heathens. He didn't say Gentiles. He said, my people are destroyed for lack of the knowledge. He said destroyed. That means destruction is taking place in the lives of the people of Yahuwah. We are being destroyed because we don't have any knowledge of who Elohim, Yahuwah, really is. And it goes on to say, because this is why you're being destroyed. This is why the people of Yah are being destroyed. Because you have rejected the knowledge. What knowledge? The knowledge of who Elohim is. What he is saying to you, his commandments, his Torah, we have rejected all of it as the people of Yah. It's still happening. It's still going on now. People are trying to make the, the scriptures fit their flesh, fit the sin that they're in. That's what people are doing. And we can't do that. We have to make sure that our lives line up with the Torah, with the commandments of Yah, not the other way around. When we do that, when we say, I'm going to do my own thing, we are rejecting the knowledge of Elohim, of Yahuwah, of who he is, of what he has told us to do and how he has told us to live as his people. Because we have rejected the knowledge, he said, I will also reject you. So there's a lot of people who have rejected the knowledge of Elohim in the way that they think, the way that they talk, and the way that we live our lives. And because of that, we have rejected the knowledge of who Elohim is and how he has called us to live as his people. He's going to reject us. He's saying, I will reject you. And there will be, you will be no priest to me. Seeing you have forgotten the Torah of Elohim. You have forgotten my commandments, my laws, my statutes. I will also forget your children, your offspring. They're go I'm go not only going to forget you and reject you, but I'm going to reject them too. Because if you're not living by my commandments, you're going to teach them not to live by them as well. So you and your children are going to be rejected and forgotten. Think about that, everybody. Do you really want to be in that predicament? in that situation? Do I really want to be in that predicament in that situation? Do we want to put our children in that situation? Think about that. If you are in a situation today where your life does not line up with scripture, you're living in sin, you've got wickedness in your heart and in your life, now is the time to get it right. Now is the time to turn away from a life of sin and wickedness and iniquity. Now is the time to admit that to yourself and to the Most High Yah. And through His Son, 
Yahushua HaMashiach, if you have turned your back on the Most High Yah and His commandments, now is the time to genuinely and sincerely humble yourself and repent, say, I'm sorry, I apologize to the Most High Yah. Forgive me. Have mercy on me. Father, and thank you for giving me another opportunity to get it right with you. I am in the wrong. I am the one who, have, who has not been living according to your commandments. I don't want to be forgotten. I don't want my children to be forgotten. I don't want to be rejected by you. Now is the time for you to get it right, people. Today, time is running out. It is almost time for Yahushua HaMashiach to come back for his people. Make sure that you are ready. If you claim to be a child of the Most High Yah, please make sure that you've got your life right with him, your heart, your spirit, your ruach is right. And if you know you don't know the Most High Yah, Elohim, Yahuwah, in an intimate and personal way for yourself, not a regurgitated, programmed, brainwashed version, but you know that you need to come into a relationship with him for yourself or you need to rededicate your life to him do that today that is my strong encouragement to you today on this Shabbat this is the Most High Yah's day what a way to celebrate his day by knowing who he is getting to know who he is from scripture today. That is my encouragement to all of you today. As you go throughout this day, go back and just meditate on this passage of scripture. You know, just think about it, meditate on it, marinate, let it marinate in your mind and in your heart and in your ruach and let it speak to your heart today. Let this day be a day of rest and relaxation a time that you spend in the scriptures and in prayer, praise, and worship. Give the Most High Yah the hallelujah praise today. Give him the highest esteem. Hold him in high esteem today. Hear the word of Yahuwah today, everyone, because Yahuwah is still speaking to his children. And with that, I will leave you with Shabbat Shalom.